What's happening, y'all? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes. And today, uh, I'm going to talk to you about that shoulder issue again. Remember, we talked about the shoulder where we want to keep it quiet. We don't want to shut it forward or throw it forward. Uh, we don't want it doing too much craziness. We just want it to be hinging right at the joint where it's just nice and smooth. And the best time to do that is when you're not even loose, when you're actually just starting to get loose. I haven't thrown a single shot yet, so I'm gonna show you exactly what you wanna focus on. So we're gonna stand at the foul line. This is one of those things that you wanna do, is just stand at the foul line, get into somewhat of a finishing position. You're not gonna be able to get all the way down probably if you're old like me. Um, but all we wanna think about is just letting your arm swing right here. And we don't want to, what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna swing it and then force it off your hand. We don't want to throw it. We're not worried about ball speed. We're not worried about any of that stuff. All we're doing is just swinging it and then just releasing it with nice slow ball speed right here. And just don't let your arm pull it forward. Do not shove your shoulder forward. Don't throw it. This is a really good drill for those of you that like to pull it down from the top. You like to really use muscle too much to swing the ball and throw the ball we want to try to not do that this is going to be about just freeing the arm swing we're going to do that a couple of times and then after you do that a few times you're going to step back and do a one step and it's going to be the same focus except you're going to be here i want you to swing it a few times this way just to feel the swing going straight front to back and you're only swinging it with the hinge then i want you to actually swing it back step and do the same thing. Don't let your shoulder throw forward. Made the spare, baby, let's go. Don't let your shoulder throw it forward. Don't try to, I mean, you're, we're gonna over-exaggerate the entire thing just to quiet down that shoulder, just to make it feel like it's just front to back, nothing crazy. We're not doing this. We're not going side to side. We're not whipping anything in there. We're not getting the elbow flaring out. We're just trying to get our arm to hinge and just roll it from right here. That's it. So you're gonna do that a few times. And then the next drill would be to do your full approach with the ball down by your side. So for me, I'm four step. So I would be down by my side here and I'm just gonna swing it again down at the bottom, basically. And I'm gonna take my steps and just throw the ball. And again, you're not trying to throw it hard. You're just trying to get your hand through it with your arm swing being nice and loose you're not trying to use too much upper body. All it is is about over-exaggerating how loosey-goosey you can get your arm swing to just hinge at that shoulder hinge. So go do this, try these drills a little bit, focus on that shoulder, don't let it shut down, don't let your, your, your balance arm go behind you, don't do any of that stuff. Keep your left shoulder quiet and keep your right shoulder hinging instead of rotating, okay? So go try that. Let me know how, you, uh, how it goes in the comments below. Uh, and then that's all I got. But hey, make sure you go sign up for 10pindoctors.com. I have lessons going on. They are uh, $25 rather than $40. We're doing Cyber Monday all the way through Christmas. They're available for $25 for non-members, $20 for members over there. So if you're not a member yet, you might as well go sign up. Get yourself uh, lessons for $20. Non-members, $25. Bucks. We do virtual lessons. Even if you want to do it for a gift for somebody, we can do it that way. You can actually just go take a quick video of somebody behind their approach. Make sure I can see everything, their feet and everything. It's got to be directly behind the approach. And then send that video in, and I can do an analysis, and we can go through a lesson there. Oh, every time. I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.